Boom, 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 boom. Uh -uh. Hi. Fine girl. <laughs> Guys, look at how pretty she looks. Fine boy. Look at this fine girl. <laughs> you look so pretty, Brenda. Aww. And I mean it. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> oh. We're going to talk about interracial marriages today. Oh, that's what we have today? And intercultural marriages today. Oh, great. Yes. All of you that are dating yourself, oh man, I get that question all the time. My, yeah. my DM is filled with I know. Guys, help us. Like, how do I'm you I'm dating do an Indonesian woman. I'm dating an American woman. I'm yeah. dating American women coming. I'm dating an, um, an Indian guy. I'm uh. So, okay. <laughs> this is like the comfiest place ever to yeah, do this video. I know, right? So we wanted to have you guys join us comfy at home. Yep. So Where's Tempe? Tempe! This is Mochi and, and this Tempe. is Tempe. So Yeah, I want Tempe. Welcome to the fam. Anyway, mm -hmm. so basically we said that we were going to address interracial marriages yeah. or relationships, relationships today. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the first thing is for your relationship to be great mm -hmm. you have to be a good person yourself mm -hmm. you know first thing first yeah make sure you are a good person make sure you're kind mm -hmm. make sure your communication skills um is open so make sure that you're good as a person yeah just person. make sure you're first 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 you are a good person mm -hmm. because if you're not a good person you know you would always find problem in everything you Whether you're in an interracial marriage or, or not. not. Now, she's a very, very, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to put it. <laughs> you better. What does that mean? Ah. Sometimes she's like weather. You know? What's weather? What's weather? You are like a climate change. So, <laughs> let me put it this way. She's a very strong woman, but at the same time, she's very emotional. I had to learn that, you know, um, she expresses her emotion, you know, differently than the way I express mine. Me, I can watch a movie right now. Everybody around me is crying and I'll just be there looking like this, you know. And it, I'm like, why isn't he crying? Does he have no emotions? Like, what's going <laughs> on? But for him, I guess, like, coming from where you come from, it's not like so easily it's so easy to be openly honest about your emotions yeah like, and i have to learn that you yeah. know and another thing i think I, that has helped our relationship is i i personally have to talk to myself mm -hmm. and understand that you and i have different upbringing we have different uh, orientation and how we approach situations mm -hmm. um and i also know that my culture you know because you're married to me does not mean automatically i must impose my culture on you and i don't expect you to do the same you know to me because i know how i would feel mm -hmm. if you're trying to turn me into an americana you know if you're telling me oh you have to eat cheese that's how we do it here in america you have to this you have to that have... by now we will not be in this place talking to you people me i will have packed my bag wow. ah no me i don't have time i will have packed my but you don't impose your culture on me and I had to learn because because of the pressure I receive from my own people, Nigerians, right? Mm -hmm. Teacher how to teacher this, teacher that, teacher Igbo, teacher Yoruba. It's just so weird to me. Yeah. Hey, hey guys. guys, so we just took a quick break. <laughs> of course. To thank the sponsors of this video. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Audible. Audible, 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 Audible. And we think you're going to thank them too because yeah. they are offering a 30-day free trial. Yes. Unlimited access to Audible Originals mm -hmm. and one free audiobook. Mm. Like what? Some of you, you like to read. You say you love to read. You've yeah. been at home. There is no excuse anymore. Exactly. It's free. Like this is not a prank. No joke. If you mm -hmm. go to www.audible.com mm -hmm. mm -hmm. slash Ling and Lamb. Mm -hmm. Or if you're a texter like I am, then yeah. you can text Ling and Lamb mm -hmm. to 500 500. 500. Take it again because some of them don't really, really you go listen. To the comments, like, oh, oh what did you say? I'm looking for the link. www.audible.com mm -hmm. mm -hmm. slash Ling and Lamb. Or you can text Ling and Lamb mm -hmm. to 500 500. Mm -hmm. But we're also going to leave it in the description box for you just in case. 
What is your favorite on the uh, on the other book right now? Well, so we remember the Wayne Dyer book. If you see it, you'll believe it. We loved that. That was guys. a good one. Like it was super inspirational, yep. super motivational, yep. and just like life changing. And let me tell you guys a quick story. So I started reading the book. And she wasn't there. She called me and said, I can see that you're reading it. I wait said, for wait, me. Wait, wait, you're reading. Like, that was my bookmark. Can you not? Can you get your own membership? So, like, can you guys please? Can you guys please? So, guys. Do yourselves a favor. Mm -hmm. And go follow that link. Right or now. Or text. Because you guys right are going to love all of the options that you have. Yeah. Because I'm like, why would you come to America mm -hmm. and start, like, infiltrating me with everything Nigeria? Yeah. You I know. think it's one thing if I went to Nigeria. Yeah. And people are like, oh, teach her, you know, the Nigerian way. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay, it makes sense. But, like, why would you come here and do that to me? Yeah. And for me, I just felt like when I... Because it's been, it's been crazy. Like, I've received calls from even... You know, people I respect, people I call like family, and everybody's rushing me. Literally, yeah. everybody is reaching out to me saying, Teacher, how to speak Yoruba, teacher, Igbo, teacher, Fufu, teacher, Bano, teacher, they're pouring all that on me. But none of them has ever called me to say, What's up? How's it going with our culture? Mm -hmm. You know, how are yeah, you? How, are you, learning the how are you learning the American culture? You know, so I just feel like. Is it like a pride thing? Like I don't know if it's a pride like thing. Our culture is the best, so like everywhere you go. Every like... culture, every culture, everybody's proud of their culture. But you I also feel proud of it. But I've never seen like so much of a demand to like influence. I don't know culture. if I don't know if Indians are like that or, or if um, Asians are like that. I don't know. But I'm only speaking from my own, and I see the pressure from Nigerians trying to tell me to teach you everything. It's like Guys, we have a lifetime together. You know, this is marriage. This is not a wine night stand or mm -hmm. we're not in a short let. You know, we're in a life journey together. You know, and things will happen gradually. So I think for me, the first thing is I have to learn to shut off those pressure from outside mm -hmm. and allow you find interest, you know, pick the things you like from my culture by yourself. Mm -hmm. Because I know when you do that, you will do it even when I don't ask for it. Mm -hmm. Because you love it. Yeah. I've seen you go to the market, guys. She goes to the market, calls me. Oh, there is fresh okra here. I didn't force you to like okra, but she loves okra. I think that's the only thing. Well, yeah, but I was also calling because I knew how excited you were. Yeah. Some okra. Yeah, I know that, boy. Yeah. But you would <laughs> never go to the market and see Gary and call me. No. So I'm glad that I'm giving you space, time. And not trying to make my culture superior over your culture. Mm -hmm. I think that's one thing um, from this first part of the conversation. Yeah. Don't go into any interracial relationship or marriage mm -hmm. with the mentality that your culture is better supreme. or supreme yeah, right. over the, the other person's culture. Mm -hmm. Don't even do anything like, oh, this is how I must eat this kind of yeah. food. I think that would be the takeaway for this first part. Would yeah. basically be that part of making intercultural relationships and marriages work is by knowing that your culture and your upbringing is not the only one. It's not the most important or superior. Mm -hmm. It's yours coming together with that other person's mm -hmm. and that you guys have to both come together, take mm -hmm. your time learning part of his, part of hers, yeah. you know, and learning what you want to take yeah. from even, you know, like some of, some people are like, oh, teach her another language i'll yeah. be honest you know i'm at the point in my life where i'm not trying to learn another language like i'm good knowing english knowing a good bit of spanish to be able to get my way around and like that's it yeah. if i happen to like pick up on things as i go throughout my life like that's fine but it has to be something you're interested in so okay. that's another thing too like you guys have to be interested in learning about the things that you're trying to take from each other right? yeah it's I'm, 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 to clarify what you just said right a quick one my mom is from Delta Igbo, Ukwale precisely, right? My dad is Yoruba. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with these two languages. That's why I can speak. Sometimes I see some of you write, it sounds like an Igbo man. Nah, nah, switch Igbo for my, uh -huh. you see? English. And I, I speak English as well. Now, this is the catch. My dad's mom is full breed Ghanaian. So, 
imagine me being married. We've been married for two years and two months now. And are you people like first a teacher this teacher that blah, 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 blah. I mean what should I start from? So learn to take it easy when you are in a uh, cultural intercultural yeah, inter cultural relationship. Uh, relationship. Take yeah. your time. You guys have a lifetime together, so just take your time, make it fun. Don't even make it like something that needs to be done. Like, yep. oh, we're together. No, I need to teach you this. Yep. Need to it just flows naturally. So we're only saying this, guys, because like we get it like daily. We get tons of messages asking how to make interracial uh inter intercultural relationships work that's pretty much the best way like some that's why some people will be like oh my god you guys have been married for two years why don't you know how to say xyz and i'm like well because he's not here throwing his language down my throat yeah i pick up here and there oh how come you don't know how to make him a ton of nigerian dishes after two years well because he's taught me here and there you know, so it's got to be organic. And we have a life. It's, it's got to like, be organic. Yeah. And you have your lifetime. And you have a lifetime for this. And we... Enjoy it. Enjoy it. it. fun. Don't make it a chore. So I think, mm -mm. like, that's one of the best parts for me about our relationship is yeah. that learning about each other. Vice, you know, for him to me, me to him, that's part of the fun. So I yeah. think that was a good way to, like, summarize the first half. Yeah. So, for those of you who do not know, Lamb is... Nigerian, but... In Nigeria, I'm also mixed. My mom is from Delta Igbo, my dad is Yoruba, and my dad's mom is Ghanaian. There you guys go. So for everyone who's been wondering, what's Lem? Oh, he's so Igbo. Oh, he's so Yoruba. Oh, no, he's definitely Ghanaian. And my tongues are confused. Sometimes I speak, I'm like a Yoruba guy. And sometimes, depending on the situation, like, ah, pure the, Igbo. the Igbo comes out. So I don't even know how it happens. It just happens. Yeah. So that's Lem. <laughs> and Ling... <laughs> so I am black, mm -hmm. white, so European, and Jewish and Portuguese. So that is my main mix. I think for me, I was just more like, oh my God, like I'm marrying somebody who's not an American. And again, not in a bad way, but just like, oh wow, like I would have never thought that. Cause you know, you think you're gonna marry like people that, you know, yeah. are in your area. <clears throat> so that was probably the only difference for me. Um, yeah. It's more of a cultural thing for me. Yeah. But I notice on his side, <clears throat> like, it's more of a racial thing. Yeah. Like, people are like, you know, oh, he's only doing those things for you because you're a Weibo. <laughs> Wait, let me make sure this thing is recording. I want, I like the way you said that with Weibo. <laughs> Wait, we'll make it. Let me see. We'll just say talk. Okay, it is recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> When they're like, oh, he's only being like that, romantic and nice and sweet because she's Oimbo. Or, yeah. oh, why do all you Nigerians leave us for white women? Or yeah. all of these things. I'm like, wow, it's crazy. Like, I've never seen so much, like, race talk ever. Yeah, so for me, right, when I see those things, even from the, there are certain people I told about our relationship, right, they, they try to project their fears of their personal experience which i don't know about mm -hmm. uh on me you know about oh american women are these that 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 like they gave me a long list why i shouldn't marry an american woman yeah. right but then i'm looking at them as an individual and i'm looking at myself and i know there's a big difference mm -hmm. you know and i know that the woman i'm dating because we're dating at that point the woman i'm dating mm -hmm. It is not, I don't see any of the traces of all the things they are writing out. Oh, they can be that, 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 you know. And when people say things like, oh, I am like this because, uh, oh, it's because she's only bow, blah, blah, blah. For me, it's simple, right? Um, so what is Oibo? Oibo, so from when we were small, Oibo simply means anybody, like a white person, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, whether you're from Europe, America, okay. or Ibo, uh -huh. even sometimes, even African America, once you land Lagos and you ask, they notice your English is different from us. Ah, this one no uh, Ibo, this one no Ibo, but mostly Ibo is light skin, okay. you know, white. As you did now, you Ibo, better on Ibo pepper soup. <laughs> And so this is where we stop here. We're going to stop right now. You know, love is love. Don't 
drop the comments, guys. We want to. We want to. Yeah. Do you think let's love talk. Is love, or do you think there should be titles? Yeah, or... and we also want to hear your, their experiences regarding course, with interracial. Uh, interracial, intercultural. In fact, yes. Let's hear your personal experience with interracial, intercultural. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Just to see what every are you guys going through? What we're going through? Yeah. Um. Do you have like questions? Like. Bring it on! 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 Me give thanks in the morning For my friends and my family So we pray for the week And we cheers to the weekend One man can change the world So let nobody tell you you're not good enough Buckle up, rise up Let them know you're a champion